You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. In my series on reading the Bible faithfully, I point out that at the end of the book of Job, we hear God telling Eliphaz that he, Eliphaz, has understood God wrongly, and what he has said about God is not true. I also point out, though, that that doesn't mean that everything that Eliphaz says is untrue. Indeed, most of what Eliphaz says is true and right. The problem is that he puts these partial truths together to build a picture of God which is false. Let's take a look at Job chapter 4 and see how Eliphaz turns truth into lies. In the first part of the chapter, Eliphaz argues that God is just in punishing and that Job is aware of this. Then Eliphaz claims to have received a vision that underlies this truth. God punishes and is just. Now, Eliphaz claims are, in a sense, true. Few Christians or few ancient Judean readers would want to deny that God is just, or that humans fail. Yet the construction that Eliphaz presents of God through these partial truths is false. Eliphaz's God is a monster who seeks excuses to condemn and to punish his creatures. Eliphaz's argument runs like this. If one ventures a word with you, will you be offended? Talking to Job. But who can keep from speaking? See, you have instructed many. You have strengthened the weak hands. Your words have supported those who are stumbling, and you have made firm the feeble knees. But now it's come to you, you're impatient. It touches you, and you're dismayed. Is not your fear of God your confidence, and the integrity of your ways your hope? Think now, who that was innocent ever perished, or where were the upright cut off? As I have seen, those who plough iniquity and sow trouble reap the same. By the breath of God they perish, and by the blast of his anger they are consumed. The roar of the lion, the voice of the fierce lion, the teeth of the young lion are broken. The strong lion perishes for lack of prey, and the whelps of the lioness are scattered. Punishment comes from God, and punishment is just. You're being punished, Job, and so you are wrong. Eliphaz's God is a God who seeks justice by seeking punishment. Then Eliphaz turns to this vision in the night. Now a word came stealing to me. My ear received the whisper of it, amid thoughts from visions of the night, when deep sleep falls on mortals, dread came upon me, and trembling which made my bones shake. Having set the scene, Eliphaz continues, A spirit glided past my face, the hairs of my flesh bristled. It stood still, but I could not discern its appearance. A form was before my eyes, there was silence. Then I heard a voice. Can mortals be righteous before God? Can human beings be pure before their Maker? Even in his servants he puts no trust, and his angels he charges with error. How much more those who live in houses of clay, those whose foundation is in the dust, who are crushed like a moth. Between morning and evening they're destroyed, they perish for ever, without any regarding it. Their tent cord is plucked up within them, and they die, devoid of wisdom. What a lovely picture of God. And although the elements from which Eliphaz builds it are true, God is just. Humans are broken and sinful. Although the elements from which Eliphaz builds his picture of God are true, the picture he builds is untrue. Compare it, for example, with the picture of God in the book of Jonah. There we see a God who is just waiting for any excuse to forgive, rather than a God who is just waiting for the inevitable reason to punish. You see, Eliphaz's truths about God are only partially true, because although God is just, God has chosen to work within this broken, fallen human world, and God chooses as his agents, most of the time, broken, fallen humans. Just think of Genesis chapter 12. The call of Abraham, the blessing of Abraham. Abraham, whose family is to be the heart of God's working in the world, who, just a few verses later, trusts God so much that he runs off to Egypt at the first sign of a famine, and pretends his wife's his sister, and all the rest of it. God chooses to work with these broken humans. God is not always looking for an excuse to condemn and to punish. Have you ever met an Eliphaz theologian? There are lots of them in churches today.